so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Whoa! Check out where I am! The moon! Whoa! Ooh, what's that? I'm getting an alert on my watch. I'm a real astronaut in space! Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, hey! Do you want to meet a real astronaut? Me too! Yeah! Woo! I know where to start. Come on! Whoa! Whoa! One giant leap for Blippi and two wiggly arms for Blippi friends. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today I'm here at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Yeah, and I'm hanging out with my friend, Mr. Spaceman. How's it going? <laughs> He's feeling a little quiet today, but I am so excited because we get to learn about drum roll, please. all kinds of vehicles. Vehicles that take astronauts to space and around the moon. Oh, on the moon. Come on. <laughs> oh, look who it is. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Blippi. Welcome to NASA. Oh, nice to meet you. What's your name? Lucian. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Lucian. Can you teach us a little bit about this vehicle? Absolutely. This is a space exploration vehicle. Whoa. It goes on the moon. OK. And this is a prototype. And on the moon, it will take two astronauts Whoa. for up to two weeks and drive around the moon. Whoa, so you can drive around on the moon using the space exploration vehicle? Yes. Oh, it's kind of like a car, but it looks a little different. Whoa, look at these wheels. Yeah. Whoa. It's a wheel module that can spin in all directions Whoa. and then drive with a central shaft. Whoa. And then we supersized it and put it on this vehicle. Whoa, whoa, can I try Lucian? Sure. Whoa, yeah, look, it can drive every which way, front and back and side to side. Whoa, thanks, Lucian. Cool. Can we take a look inside? Absolutely. Let's go, come on. Whoa. So <laughs> I'll follow you, Lucian. It has six <laughs> wheel modules. And let me show you inside. I can't believe it. I get to go inside. Yeah! Wow, we're inside the space exploration vehicle. Whoa. Come on in. Oh, should I sit down over there? Yeah, come sit down. Oh, OK. You can take either Whoa. seat you'd like. Whoa! Check it out. Whoa, this is such a cool vehicle. There's so many bright lights and colorful buttons. Whoa. And instead of a steering wheel, it looks like there's some screens. And uh, a joystick? Should we start driving? Sure. Let's do it. Woohoo! Yeah! There's your seatbelt. Okay, and. Okay, great. You got the other side? Yeah, I think so. It's just like an oh. airline seatbelt. <laughs> Here we go. Buckled oh. in. <laughs> All buckled in, ready to drive. So when you push the joystick, the vehicle's gonna go forward. Okay. The wheels you saw all were cattywonked. <laughs> so not until they straighten up. Or are we going to give you forward motion? OK, so, so when I push forward on the joystick, all those wheels will straighten up and we'll move right, forward. Just with one motion. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. It's time to drive this space exploration vehicle. Come on. OK, here we go. I'm going to push forward on this joystick. Whoa. And the wheel straightened out, and it's ready to go. Whoa. Check it out. I'm driving. OK, and then we're going to turn to the left. So I need to rotate the joystick. Okay, here we go. Be a little bit like this. Whoa! Yeah, this is awesome. Whoa, so how fast can this vehicle go? About 20 kilometers per hour. Whoa. Which is plenty fast when you're off-roading on the moon and Mars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're going over hills and rocks and all kinds of things. Pure twist to your left. Pure twist to the left. So all the wheels are facing the right direction. How about that? And then sideways this way? Sure. OK, here we go. That's a great idea. Yeah. Oh, deja vu. <laughs> 
Here we go. We're going sideways. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go through a crater. Let's do it. Full steam ahead. Woo! Yeah. Whoa. Here we go. Here we go. First, we're going over the first part and then down the crater. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, Lucian, this is fun. Whoa! Check it out! Wow, that was awesome, Lucian! <laughs> Thanks for driving the space exploration vehicle with me and letting me have a try too. <laughs> Thanks for driving. Woo! <laughs> See you later. We're gonna go find some more vehicles. Bye! Bye. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Hey! Oh, that was so much fun. Wait, what's that? You see something that can go to space? Wait, is it over here? Nope. <laughs> is it over there? I don't see anything. What's that? It's behind me. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's the Saturn V rocket. Yeah. Do you see how big it is? Whoa. Yeah, it's 363 feet tall. That's about 20 giraffes. <laughs> Whoa. And when a rocket like this was filled with fuel, it weighed 6.2 million pounds. That's like 200 excavators. Whoa! Did you see? It has all different types of parts. This front part here is the capsule where the astronauts would sit. <laughs> oh, let's go take a closer look. Come on. Whoa! Check it out. It's so cool and big. Yeah. This right here is the service module where they would store all kinds of things. Yeah, like a lunar rover or even moon rocks. Yeah, come on. Whoa, <laughs> this is such a cool rocket. Yeah, and the next parts of the rocket all have fuel. Yeah, stage three, two, and one. <laughs> Whoa, you see the inside of stage three? Let's go take a closer look. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, it's so big in here. Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> wow, yeah. Stage three was really important because this would help get the astronauts to the moon. It had an engine and lots of fuel. <laughs> Ooh, let's go check out the rest of the rocket. Come on, woohoo! This part right here was stage two. That helped get the rocket out of Earth's atmosphere. Whoa, it's getting even bigger. I wonder how big stage one will be. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! And do you see what I see? It's stage one. <laughs> yeah! Stage one is so big, had lots of fuel and helped to get the rocket off the ground. Lift off, woohoo! Let's go check out the back, come on, woohoo! are the parts of the engine for stage one. <laughs> Do you see how big it is? Yeah. Well, when you see a rocket take off, lift off is really bright, really loud, <laughs> and really hot <laughs> because of all of that burning fuel. And that helps the rocket go to space. Woohoo, Saturn V. Woohoo, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, check it out, it's a space rover, yeah! Whoa, huh. but I wonder what kind. Oh, hello there. Hi. I'm Blippi, what's your name? My name's Emily. Oh, hi Emily. Hi. Oh, Emily, do you work at NASA? Yeah, I do. Oh, cool, well, could you tell us about this rover here? Absolutely. What's its name? 
This is the Viper Rover. Whoa, the Viper Rover. Yeah, that's a cool name. What does it do? Um, so Viper is set to launch the moon in search of volatile resources. Oh, whoa, what are those? Um, like water and ice. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it um, finds the water and ice. Exactly, and it'll essentially be the pioneer to bring us back to the moon so that when we have astronauts go back, they know where to look for water. Oh yeah, so when astronauts go where they conduct experiments, they'll know where to find the water, the ice, and the gas. Correct. Oh, cool. Whoa, well, this is a pretty cool rover. It's so colorful too. Uh, look at all the parts. There's a wheel, and it's the color white. Look. Whoa, whoa Emily, what's this? Oh, this is one of Viper's solar panels. Whoa, look at this solar panel. You know, I like this solar panel because it's one of my two favorite colors, blue. <laughs> and Emily, what's this part here? Uh, this is actually one of our science instruments. Whoa, it's like a tool. Oh, oh. Very important. <laughs> oh, is this also a space tool too? Uh, yeah, essentially it's one of our batteries. Whoa, wait a minute. So the solar panels get solar energy power Viper, mm -hmm. all that energy stored here? Correct, yes. Cool. Oh, well, is this the vehicle that will go to space? Will this actually go? That's a great question. Actually, this one is used by engineers here on Earth to build in preparation for their actual real rover. Whoa, yeah, this is a prototype or practice vehicle. Yeah, this is a practice that an engineer will build so they get better at building the real Viper. Yeah. Well, could we seal the actual Viper? Yes, actually, we're okay. building one right now. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Whoa, it looks so different. Mm -hmm. It's not as colorful, but it's so sparkly. <laughs> Hello, Viper. Wow. Oh, and are those people working on Viper? Yeah, those are engineers working in the clean room currently. Wow. Um, and as you can see, the rover is in a few different pieces, but in the end, when the engineers are done, it'll all come together to form Viper. Yeah, and then it can drive around on the moon. Correct. <laughs> Thanks for teaching us, Emily. Absolutely. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> Bye. Wow, that was so much fun learning all about the Viper rover. Yeah. Oh, on its search for water, ice, and gas. Yeah. Oh, well, speaking of water and ice, and after all this learning, <laughs> I think I could use a drink of water. <laughs> Come on! Got you! <laughs> Good job, Viper! <laughs> Houston, we have the Wiggles! <laughs> Check it out! I'm here at Mission Control at NASA! <laughs> Whoa! Mission Control is a really cool place where all of the people who work here on Earth can talk to the astronauts in space! Yes, they can communicate with headsets like this to all those astronauts that are working on experiments. Yeah, and staying at the International Space Station. Whoa! Whoa, look at all the screens! Oh, hmm. There's a lot of numbers around here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need a little more practice and training before I can work at Mission Control. <laughs> oh, I know. I can communicate with Mika. Mika, do you copy? I copy, Blippi. I'm all strapped in and ready for liftoff. Okay. Launch is a go. Hey, will you count down with me? Okay, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one! Woo! Blast off! Whoa! See you soon! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this is so fun working here at Mission Control, <laughs> or at least pretending to. You know, it would be really cool to meet someone who actually works here. Whoa, wait! Look who it is! <laughs> it's Flight Director Rick Henkling! Hi, Rick! <laughs> Hi, Blippi. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you, too. <gasps> I can't believe I'm talking to an actual flight director. <laughs> oh, and Rick, what exactly does a flight director do? So the flight director is in charge of the International Space Station. We keep the space station flying safely so the astronauts can do their experiments and then return home safely to their families when their mission is done. Whoa, and do you look over all the people that work here in Mission Control too? That's true. Whoa. We have We have specialists who know all about the space station. Whoa, well, what kinds of jobs do they have? 
We have people who are experts in computers. Oh. <laughs> experts in communications. Well, do you even have an expert in air conditioning? That's right. We need to make sure the space station is nice and comfy for the astronauts to do their experiments. Oh, yeah. You don't want to be too sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. And what's this up here? So this is a map of the Earth that shows where the International Space Station is. We're flying over the northern part of America. Wow, look! Do you see that right there? Oh, it looks like the space station is floating along. Oh, but I bet it's going kind of fast, right? It goes super fast. It goes 17,500 miles per hour. <gasps> 17,500 miles per hour? Woo! <laughs> That's faster than an excavator. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, and Rick, are those astronauts? Those are real live astronauts. They're getting ready to return home the experiments that they've been working on so that the scientists on Earth can go and answer the hard questions they were asking. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah, being an astronaut is a very important job because not only do you have to be in space, but you're a scientist too. And whoa, huh, hello! <laughs> Hope you're having fun floating around. Whoa! Well, we'll let her get back to work. <laughs> well, Rick, thank you so much for teaching me all about being a flight director and for showing me mission control. <laughs> we were so happy to have you, Blippi. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Bye, Rick. See you later. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And guess what? I'm floating in space. <laughs> And we get to talk to a real astronaut in space. Yeah! We have some space questions for our good friend, Jasmine Morelli, who's also in space right now. <laughs> Can I ask some questions? Yeah, absolutely. So question number one, uh, what is it that you do in space as an astronaut? Well, Blippi, our main mission up here is to conduct science experiments and research. But as a part of living and working in space, we also have to take care of the space station itself. So if anything breaks, we have to fix it. If something outside the space station breaks, we need to put on our spacesuits and go do a spacewalk to fix it. If anyone's not feeling well, we need to take care of them. And we also need to take care of our own bodies. So we exercise every day for two and a half hours. Whoa, that sounds awesome. Yeah, it's so cool to be talking to you right now because you're on the International Space Station. And I think that's a good idea. Take care of yourselves and the space station. Woohoo! What is your favorite thing about being an astronaut? Blippi, I think my favorite part about being an astronaut is the people I get to work with. I have a crew of six other people up here with me who I love living and working with. Uh, you visited Mission Control and met all the people that work down there. We've had so many people train us and keep the International Space Station flying for over 25 years now. So I think my favorite part would be all the great people I get to work with every day. Aw, uh, that's a great answer. Yeah, it feels like it's a big space family. Do you play with your food while you're in space? I, I see that gravity's very different up there. <laughs> well, Blippi, that's one of the best parts about space. We basically have to play with our food to eat it. For example, I have some candy-coated almonds here, Ooh. and you can see <laughs> to eat them. Float them over and Water also behaves really interestingly up here. So you can make a bubble with the water and it will just float around. And then you can drink it. Whoa, Jasmine, that's amazing. Whoa, that looks like so much fun, eating candy almonds and drinking some yummy water. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Well, I was going to spell my name and then would you like to spell your name? Sure, that sounds great. <laughs> great. B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. <laughs> Great, and can we spell your name with you? Sure, my name is J-A-S-M-I-N, <laughs> Jasmine. <laughs> awesome, well, it was so nice to talk to you, Jasmine. We'll see you later, bye-bye. You too, Blippi, hope you had fun on the International Space Station. I had the best day here at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Yeah, I got to drive a space exploration vehicle and learn about all kinds of vehicles that go to space, the moon, and maybe even Mars someday. Yeah! 
Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. See you on the moon. Woohoo! And I are gonna learn about, yep, airplanes. Whoa! All well, the people, they look like ants when we're up with the birds. On the airplane, the wings keep us gliding. We're on top of the world. So hear that worrying engine and look out on the wing. We're gonna fly, fly, fly till we can touch the sky and we're gonna soar right through the clouds we're gonna fly 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 we're going way up high on the airplane in the sky we're going to fly Gonna fly, fly, fly till we can touch the sky. We're gonna soar right through the clouds. We're gonna fly, fly, fly. We're going way up high on the airplane in the sky. We're going to fly. me Blippi, and look at where I'm at! Yeah! Today I'm at Spokane Gymnastics in Spokane Valley, Washington! Whoa! And today you and I are gonna learn about gymnastics! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Whoa! Look at this place! This place looks like so much fun! Whoa! Ooh, look down here! A soft mat! Whoa! Ooh, and what are these? Whoa! Colorful rings! Hello! Whoa! <laughs> cool! <laughs> Gymnastics looks like so much fun! Whoa! Look! An obstacle course! Cool! Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I start at the beginning and go all the way to the end? Come on! <laughs> all right, I'm ready! Three, two, one! Woohoo! Whoa! Look, I'm balancing! Ooh! Green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow! Whoa! Whoa, what is this? Wait a second, maybe I have to act like a kangaroo and jump over it! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! All right, let me crawl like a baby! Goo goo! Gaga! Goo goo! Gaga! <laughs> Ooh, more balancing beams! Ooh, orange and blue! Cool! Whoa, hello! Whoa. Look at me, I'm inside a circle! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow! Wait a second! This looks like a ramp! Yeah, it looks like it's for a somersault! Do you know what a somersault is? Yeah, it's where you take your body, you roll it up into a ball, and then you roll. But I don't know how to somersault. Hmm, well maybe I'll just stand and walk down it. <laughs> oh, 
Well, that was so much fun though, doing that obstacle course. Too bad I don't know how to somersault. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, a gray ball. Whoa, I'm spinning the ball. But yeah, a somersault takes a lot of balance and rolling technique. Yeah, you know how when you take a ball and you push it? Yeah, that means it's rolling. See, whoa, it's rolling. Whoa, if you dragged it like this, that would be sliding. But this, woohoo, that's rolling. And that's what I need to learn today. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, even this rolls. It does have some flat sides, but it still rolls, see? Whoa, wait a second. Looks like there's an instructor back there. What if I learned how to somersault? Maybe she knows how. Let's go say hi. <laughs> oh, hey, who are you? I'm Coach Kelsey. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Oh, what do you do here? I'm a coach. Whoa, a coach? So you must be really good. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm making my feet roll on this mat so I can do my glides on the bar. Whoa, cool. Wait a second, she just said roll. That reminds me. Hey, I'm actually trying to learn how to somersault. Do you know how to somersault? I do know how to somersault. Really? Do you mind teaching me? I love teaching somersaults. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, all right, how do we get started? Well, you already warmed up on the obstacle, so yep. now we just have to stretch our muscles so we feel good. Okay, all right, stretching it definitely is very important. <laughs> Let's do little circles. Okay, all like right. Like roll and then backward circles. All right, whoa. These are our hips. Yep. Can we roll our hips oh, around? Oh yeah, that feels real good. Nice yeah. stretching. All right, yeah. let's reach up high. All right. Sorry, let me, here we go, reach your toes. Go. Yeah. There we go. Shake your hands out. <laughs> all right, you feeling all stretched? Yeah, yeah, my arms, my legs, my back, I'm ready. All right, let's do our somersault. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited to learn how to somersault. All right, you saw that mat over here. This uh -huh. is another one, but smaller. Whoa. We call it our cheese mat. Oh, cheese, because <laughs> it looks like a slice of cheese. It does. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> All we right. want to get on top of it okay. and turn into a little ball. Okay. And we got to remember to tuck our chin and try not to be on our head when we're rolling. Oh, yeah. That definitely doesn't sound too good. Will uh, you show me? I will show you. Okay. So I'm going to get on top. I'm going to get really small like a ball. My hands are placed on the mat. I tuck my chin. Okay. And I push my back up and I roll and I stand up big. Whoa, that was awesome. All right. So it looks like I stand right here. Yeah, I'm like a little ball. Tuck my chin. And, whoa, there we go. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good, huh? Now we're on to our next step. Okay. So we're gonna jump inside here and then learn to roll up. Okay, that sounds like fun. So start so there, we'll start jump here, inside. We'll jump inside. We want our feet on top. Okay. Put our hands down again. And remember, no head. So we're gonna tuck it in. Whee! And push. All right, start right here. Jump in. Woo! And tuck my chin. Whoa! Yeah! I did it! <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm you're, getting pretty good, huh? You're learning fast. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now we're gonna go inside something, so it's like a wall. Oh, so you don't go on the no, left or the right? No, because sometimes we want to like roll off and roll off to the other side, so we're going to try to stay in a straight line okay. without hitting the wall. All right, sounds good. All right, so same ball. We got a ball. Whoop, there we go. Tuck, tuck, <laughs> tuck. Roll. Oh, you are so good. Maybe that's why she's an instructor. <laughs> All right, so I don't want to hit the walls. And tuck my chin. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I did it again. <laughs> All right, what's this for? Well, we did some rolls. Let's do some balancing. We like to balance in gymnastics. Oh, yeah. We call these airplane wings. Whoa, anytime Whoa. I fall. Watch Whoa. out. <laughs> Whoa. There we go. And then we're going to just step on here, just like that. Okay. If we fall off, it's okay, you skip right back on. Okay, and that makes sense. Balancing does sound important for somersaults. Yeah, so then you don't go left or right. <laughs> 
All right, act like an airplane. Whoa! And now on these. Whoa! Sleepy alligator, don't wake him up. Oh. <laughs> Sleeping alligators. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I did it. Oh. All right, All right, our last one on here is like a little rocking boat. So we're gonna put our feet up here, and this is called our hollow shape. Okay. And we rock back and forth, and this is so good for our tummy muscles. Wow. Look at us rock. <laughs> <laughs> so get your core strength nice and up there because somersaults, you need you some core strength, You have to use your right? tummies. All right. You wanna try? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Hey, this you. is fun. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, so this is called a half circle? It is. Whee! <laughs> and a hollow shape, too. Oh, cool. Well, I definitely know how to do a somersault a little bit better now, huh? Yeah, you're learning lots. I'm having so much fun. Me I too. think you're going to really like this one. Oh. Can I show you this one? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right, look at all this soft foam. Oh, yeah, foam pit. I know foam what these pit. are. All right, we're gonna get down. Okay. Here's my knee. This is called a squat support. You look at your belly button, peekaboo, and you fall in. Yeah. All right, my turn. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, this is awesome. Whoa, all right. Whoa. Whoa, cool, a trampoline. Whoa. Pretty, pretty Whoa. bouncy. Yeah, that's fun. All right, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna roll big now. All right, I'm ready. We're gonna use this boulder to help us roll. Oh yeah, I saw this earlier. So it's kind of bumpy, okay. but we're gonna lay our belly on it and we're gonna reach with our strong arms. All right. <laughs> All right, All right I'm, I'm ready. Bending. I'm gonna catch, tuck my head, and I roll. Whoa, cool. All right, did you see that? So that's a big somersault. Yeah, big somersault. And I need to catch, tuck, and roll. Three, two, one, whoa! Oh, yeah, I did it! That you was did really it. fun. Whoa! So that's called a big somersault. Big somersault. All right. All right, we got this one. It's like a ring of fire. Whoa, the ring of fire? Can I see? Whoa! It's one of my two favorite colors. Yeah, orange! Whoa! Cool! All right, how do we use this? Well, I was thinking we can do a somersault in it. Okay. So if you go back here, well, do you mind I can hold first? it. Oh, I'm a little scared. Of course, I can show you. Okay, thank you so All much. All right, so just like we just learned, okay. getting our hands out in front of us to catch. So I'm going to go through it, catch, and roll. Wow, that was amazing. You think, I think you I can do, do it that? now? Yeah. Okay. So we'll start off kind of low. Okay. And maybe go higher. All right, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> that was fun! That was a good one! All right! All right, a little so, bit higher? Sure! All right, here we go! <laughs> Whoa! Inside for a yeah. Whoa! You did it! All right, a little higher? Okay, here All we right. go! Here we go! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Whoa! Uh, whoa. That was awesome! <laughs> whoa! Thank you so much for teaching me how to somersault. You're welcome. Whoa, you're such a great instructor. We did learn a lot together. We did learn a lot. Whoa. I showed you how to stretch. Oh yeah. And then you showed me the basics of a somersault. Yeah, we used our core muscles. Oh yeah. And we even balance like an airplane. Whoa. You learned so much today. I'm super proud of you. Oh, thank you. You're such a great instructor. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. I think you're ready for this obstacle and you're gonna nail that somersault. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, it was nice meeting you, Blippi. I gotta go coach a class now. All right, see you later. See you later. Bye-bye. Wow, I think I got this obstacle course now. Let's see if I can somersault. Yeah! Three, two, one! Kangaroo! Yeah! Baby! Goo goo gaga! Goo goo gaga! <laughs> Whoa! Blue and orange! Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! Woohoo! <gasps> and now for the somersault! <laughs> Here we go! Whoa! Yeah! I did it! Good job! Whoa! That was so much fun! 
whatever. It was so cool how I didn't know how to do it and I failed, but I didn't let that stop me. Yeah, I learned how to somersault. There's a lot to it, but I did it. Oh, I had so much fun learning how to somersault today. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>